story time in Seacliff. Now the clue, which we had gotten from the tiger, but you'll all notice, of course, that over on his back, oh, his nose is so cold. He's been out on the porch. I mean, it's kind of part of our Halloween decorations, but we brought him in uh, for story time tonight. And um, the clue is a dragon. And the name of the book is, You Don't Want a Dragon. Mm. Now you've done it. I told you not to wish for a dragon. Did you already forget what happened when you wished for a unicorn? The destruction, the multiplication. Oh, ding dong, poof, poof, oh, the cupcakes. Wait, a dragon is worse, much worse. Trust me, just like with a unicorn, having a dragon seems fun at first. All right, super fun. Oh no. <laughs> Fine. It's awesome too. Okay. But once again, it's not worth it. What you don't know is dragons chase and drool. And what the stories never mention is where the charcoal comes from. Don't mention this at your next barbecue. Trust me. Oh no. He set fire to the barbecue. Oh. Not to mention the wagging. He wags his tail and he digs all the time and he scoots around the house. Oh, whoa. I know you're doing your best, but I haven't even gotten to the most, the most enormous problem you are going to have with a dragon. Oh, it says their unicorns rule. I don't know if that's true. Dragons get, what do they get? What do you think? <gasps> they get enormous. I told you, why didn't you trust me? They grow and they grow and they grow. <gasps> you will not have space for a dragon. In your heart, yes. In your house, no. You need to wish this one back. It's for the best. But I bet the pet for you is right around the corner. Oh, look at these pets. It says Pet Adoption Day. Take a look. You could have a dog. You could have a, a, a chipmunk. <gasps> you know, perfect, perfect, perfect. Got everything you need? Oh, you've got the habitat, you've got the supplies, you've got the care sheet. Good, good, good. Your new pal can get settled while you tidy up. Oh, unicorns rule. Wait a second. What's that all about? <gasps> Wait, did you put the lid? You don't want your little buddy getting lost or injured. That little, little hamster, you don't want it eating something they shouldn't. No, no, not that, not that. Trust, oh no, what do you think? Trust, oh wow, good luck, good luck. Look at all those, they look like unicorn, unicorn and hamsters. What a crazy story that is. I think you are the best pet ever over on. Forget about dragons, forget about unicorns. Forget about hamsters. <laughs> okay, that's the end of that story. <laughs> and let's, oh, you know whose birthday it is today? A very, very, very dear friend of ours, Stephanie. Stephanie is a wonderful, wonderful singer too. Um, and I'm sure that she and uh, Mark had a wonderful birthday cake celebration yesterday. But we're going to celebrate today. We're going to sing to Stephanie. But first, we have to find out whether it will be a vanilla or a chocolate cake. Yesterday, we had a lot of chocolate. So let's find out. Let's count our people up. So it's going to be for chocolate, Molly, Alice, Ben, B, Bevy, Riley, Tate, Sophia, India, Eliza, Peggy, and Angelica. Whoa. 
a lot for chocolate. How about vanilla? Scarlet, Rafa, Henry, Rocky, Joseph, Graham, Audrey, and Lila. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten for vanilla. And 12 for chocolate. So once again, it's a bit more chocolate. And Stephanie, I hope you like chocolate. I think you do. All right, we're going to sing. Ready, everybody? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Steph. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, cameraman Dan. Oh, and it's so great to have you back over on. Thank you. And remember... I love you all very, very much.